Hi guys, my name is Sonali and welcome back to my channel, The Happiness Company. You know, we were talking about habits and we were talking about what are the different ways that you can uh, cultivate good habits. In addition to what we had discussed earlier, here is a quick tip about, you know, making your habits more um, involved, right? So we as humans uh, tend to do things that we enjoy more, you know, things that make us happy, give us a little bit of pleasure, isn't that? And hence, any habit that gives you immediate and satisfying results are the ones that we tend to pick up, you know, faster than um, the ones that are uh, require more efforts. And hence, you know, uh, making your habits um, immediately satisfying is essential to you know behavioral change if you want to change your behavior if you want to adapt to a new habit you have to make sure that in some ways it satisfies you or um, your your um, it gives you happiness or some sort of reward immediately and that is when you will be successful in taking up a good new habit let me tell you a quick story in the 1990s a public health researcher stephen luby was working in the neighborhood of karachi in pakistan and he was um, he was studying, uh, you know, the effects and uh, possible solutions to cure diarrhea, pneumonia, and skin uh, care problems. He introduced a solution that ended up uh, decreasing the rate of diarrhea by 52 percent, uh, pneumonia by 48 percent, and uh, skin, um, you know, problems by almost 35 percent. So, what was his solution? A nice soap. <laughs> Surprised? Yes. He always knew the importance of basic sanitation and you know um, the the requirement uh, of you know cleanliness around you. And even the locals understood this. But the problem was that they couldn't afford it, and uh, this is not an activity that they enjoyed because since they couldn't afford a product which is premium, there was uh, you know use of um, sand and different kind of other homemade things which they did not enjoy and that is why they could not adopt this basic sanitation um, as a primary habit for um, their health and cleanliness. Now this gives us a very good insight into um, the fact that something we don't enjoy is something that we can't adopt very quickly. So what did Lubin do next? He introduced a premium soap, a premium sanitation facility in partnership with Procter & Gambler. And that enabled the locals to enjoy the whole experience of washing their hands and keeping themselves clean. And you know, over a period of time, this, they developed this as a beautiful habit of keeping themselves clean uh, following the right sanitations and this was a primary solution to a whole lot of health problems that they were facing at that time. The locals knew this information, you know, they knew that uh, basic sanitation was really important, but they could not use this knowledge to turn it into a habit. But when the premium soap was introduced into their life, which, you know, the use of which uh, was, you know, sort of pleasurable, maybe the smell was delightful and, and it lathered easily. And hence, I think there was a sort of, um, there was an interest from the end to uh, use it again and again. And they enjoyed washing their hands in, in a lot of ways. <laughs> so, you know, the fact that I'm, uh, the, the, the primary rule of forming a habit is that if you make your habits satisfying, you will be able to adopt them much easier, much faster, without any friction. You know, the first and the foremost rule for uh, making a behavioral change is to make habits satisfying. And this can be difficult. You know, today we live in a world which academics called, uh, you know, a delayed return environment. You go to the office today, but your paycheck comes to you, the return, the paycheck comes to you at the end of the month. You go to the gym today, but the return, you know, in, in return, you don't lose um, weight overnight. And, you know, through many years of human evolution, our brains also evolved. So, but you know, the, the fact that um, our brain was, um, you know, coped up with uh, this mentality of the earlier humans to, um, you know, have immediate and satisfying responses. Say, for example, the earlier humans were not thinking about um, um, long-term savings or saving for retirements. 
um, they were rather focusing on immediate results, immediate satisfying results. Uh, for example, finding their next meal or finding shelter or staying alert so that they can escape, you know, a nearby lion. And they were not really focusing on the long term returns. And that is why even today, so say for example, people don't think about smoking as a habit to be too bad because they can get cancer in 20 years, but at that moment, it's immediately satisfying. You need nicotine, you have a craving for nic nicotine. And you know, when you smoke a cigarette, you immediately get that uh, satisfying response. And hence people end up forming bad habits also. So, you know, no matter how satisfying and pleasurable we make a habit, you know, um, we still sometimes fail to sort of adapt a new habit. And the reason is that if we don't have an immediate satisfying result attached to it, it will be difficult for you to adopt it. And hence, if you uh, attach uh, some gratification, some, some reward to your habits that have a long and delayed return, it will make it easy for you to take up a new habit. Cultivating good habits is an essential for having a um, you know, beautiful life. And I think um, if you haven't started, then you should start uh, re reviewing all your habits and think of adding a new habit to your life. Do let me know which is that one habit that you want to take up in your life. I will see you guys in the next episode. We will talk about some more things related to habit. See you in the next episode. My name is Sonali and this is The Happiness Company. Thank you for watching.